Hi designers, coming in hot with a bite-sized video on how to use heat maps in Adobe Express. If you haven't started exploring Adobe Express, it is loaded. I just started this morning and was overstimulated with how many possibilities there are. So what I want to show you in this video is how to use a heat map feature. This feature is available through Adobe Express if you already subscribe to the Adobe Creative Suite. And this particular add-on is free to use until December 15th of this year, 2023. So here's an example of a web design that I've done. And if you've already started using Adobe Express and you've got a project started with your design, you will go to the add-ons plugin here in the left sidebar and toward the top, you should find attention insight and click that as an add-on. And if you haven't heard of heat maps before, it's been around for a while. It's a study of our eye tracking in a Z pattern because we read left to right and top to bottom. So it's really important as you're considering your designs to design in a hierarchical fashion and good contrast between your headlines and body content, as well as your placement of images and how you use design elements to move the eye around the page, whether it's by spreading out hints of color or breaking the page into sections of content. So in this design, the call to action is bringing some attention and this large headline. So the text right here probably could use some more contrast off the background if we wanna garner more attention. So for how to do this, you're going to create a new document with your design in it, open the add-ons tab and click on attention insight. And you can select a heat map or a focus map and click test new page. There's not a website option, but I just click the flyers, posters, brochure, and it's going to take a few seconds to load. And now I can add this heat map as a layer to my document and resize it. And you can also look at a focus map, which is kind of like looking at the design in tunnel vision. So there are a lot of new features in Adobe Express. If you've used Canva before, there are quite a bit of similarities. It seems like Adobe Express has integrated a lot of AI generative stuff. Since it's tied to the Adobe Creative Suite, when you import Photoshop files or Adobe Illustrator files, when you update the file and it's living on the Creative Cloud, it will update in real time in your file in Adobe Express. So I hope this helps with your next project. And like I said, it is free to use with your subscription until December 15th. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.